I, uh, oh, I don't know what was going on last night, but my little blackbird in the cage was making a right racket. He's not even got any batteries in. I don't know what was going on with that. Anyway, today's the day I'm going to go and look around the Christmas displays. I don't think I've missed one Christmas market, it's not a market, um, in 17 or 16 years of living here. I go every year, unfortunately, because of the situation, um, the calf is closed. Well, they might do coffee to go, let's see. Anyway, I'm not, I'm literally, I'm going there, it's quite early, it opened at nine and it's just gone nine. So it's just gonna be a quick whiz round. I do need to buy some Christmas baubles. But yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing it. I've never failed to be sort of to leave there um, you know, without this like warm, happy feeling. Everything I see just puts a smile on my face. They do it so well. Um anyway, so that's where we're going. Um I thought I'd just jump on now and talk to you because obviously I'll have to wear a face mask from the first of December it became mandatory in, in shops in the Netherlands um, which is fine but um, yeah I won't even be able to sort of sneaky pull it down uh, even if the place is deserted because if somebody catches me they'll probably hoof me out the door <laughs> um, on another note washed my hair tried it this is i know that sounds ridiculous but uh, this is the first time in months that i've actually blow dried my own hair um if you know you have had this neck injury which finally feels i'm like 95 percent better so it's big relief but yeah now it's um thinner i can actually dry it um i don't mind leaving it you know to just dry on its own it's fine um put a bit of makeup on hope you can tell dress it up for you uh no lipstick on obviously uh last time oh the car park's deserted oh i love it it's so nice um which way should we go let's go by the door oh what a treat <sighs> yes prime parking lovely um yeah, last time I uh, wore makeup, I made the mistake of putting lipstick on. Oh, sorry. And uh, it wasn't one of those stay put ones that took my mask off. Didn't know, had it all smeared all over my face and grossly on the inside of uh, of my mask. But anyway, I bought, um, I grabbed, we keep her a stash of um, disposable ones in the house. So I've brought, brought my mask. So I'm gonna stick that on now, and then um, oh, I hope um, oh, I hope the the um, the carts, the shopping trolleys are free because I haven't got any money with me. This shouldn't be anyway. I'll figure it out. Okay, let's go and look around. Literally, I just walked in the door, and there's a kid screaming its head off. The place is deserted. It's like, look at me. I mean, obviously I've had kids, I get it, but it's like, really? Really? Anyway, wish me luck.
the strangest thing. There's no gold baubles to be had in the whole massive shop. They had the all they had left was glass ones, which yeah, for Jack and Dancer and also all of us, but especially for Jack and Dancer, is really not good. Uh, so I've actually walked around there twice. <laughs> Let's just say I'm a bit hot now. But um, I hope I've had enough uh, nice footage to give you something to put on in the background while you're busy doing whatever it is you're busy doing. Maybe knitting or cooking or sat on the loo. Everything's possible. <laughs> Please don't tell me. I don't need to know. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to go to the garden centre that we where we bought the Christmas tree from because that's... Um, a lot smaller so even if they haven't got any gold Christmas balls uh, it won't be uh, that have marched around the biggest garden centre in Europe twice. <laughs> um, I did buy a couple of things I'll show you when I get home. Um, now I don't have any success here. Might have to venture into the village although I'm not oh, I've got an umbrella I've not got a proper coat on because I, know, I thought I'd be indoors all day or morning it's not even 10.30, so I mean the day. I've seized the, the, the day. So hopefully this one's not too busy. Um, I tell you what though, I just need a little rant. There's some very annoying people in that garden centre. When I say annoying, I'm saying stupid. There's one woman, yeah, oh, she just followed me around the whole time. And um, obviously wearing a mouth mask. And she was on the phone the entire time. And, uh, but it looked like she was talking to herself. Actually, she, you know what? She could have been talking to herself. <laughs> Thinking about it. No, she wasn't. She was having a good chin wag with somebody. I think she had one of those earpieces in. It's like, go home and talk to your friends. Don't walk around a garden centre where everybody's there enjoying the scenery and I don't know. Anyway, moan over. Uh, the garden centre, they did it really, really nice. But... Um, they they'd really space things out so which is a good thing but as a result a lot of the um yeah the sort of interactive um scenes were were not there like this i know one they've done it for a couple of years it's um like a cave it's stunning when you walk in it's like magical so all the sort of enclosed areas had uh, gone this year but still they did their best and um it was still lovely to see i'm glad i kept up the tradition i don't think really more want to go this year and to be honest with you it's not nearly as nice as um all the previous years but it's great for inspiration. I'm wondering if some by some fluky accident, I've suddenly become hip and um, gold's like all the, all the rage this Christmas and I just didn't know. And that's why I can't get gold Christmas baubles. I doubt it. Anyway, let's see if we get some more luck in this place. <laughs> This is becoming very strange. Guess what? No gold Christmas baubles in that shop. How weird. It's like, have people just not planned properly? Not people like us, you know, shoppers. Like the, the shops, it's like, why is there a shortage of gold Christmas baubles? <sighs> now, I don't know what to do now because half of me is like, Ugh. I want the balls, <laughs> I'm determined now. And then half of me's like, oh, don't give it up. The tree looks fine. <laughs> oh, I don't know what to do. Hmm. Let me think. Well, I have to almost pass the house. So let's have a chit chat with you. I wanna make my mind up. That's something that really annoys me about living in Holland. I was waiting to turn out and there was a car coming to turn in and they won't stop and let you fall, you know, through. <sighs> I don't understand that. It's, think, it's like common courtesy, isn't it? Anyway. <sighs> um, 
if we go to the village I've got a couple of options open I can go to I can go to the blocker I can go to the action although no I'm not going to go to the action they'll probably have us queuing outside um do you know what I'm going home the tree's fine in fact I need to rearrange a few things anyway because Lawrence um, almost had the tree over last night when he was coming to bed he um, he climbed under it to turn the lights off and uh, he said that tree's wonky no he fitted it wonky he tried to say that the trunk is wrong <laughs> no it was him he did it so um, it's all skewy so um, I think I'll just go home straighten the tree up and um have done with it and then I don't know what to do for the rest of the day I'm so not used to having like time on my hands it's such a weird feeling half me feels like I should be out doing something but I should actually make the most of it and sit at home and do nothing I've got loads of Netflix to catch up on loads of YouTube to catch up on I've not been to the workshop for ages and um, I really, really need a heater. Do you know what? That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to pop to the DIY shop and buy a heater for the workshop. Because when I'm off, Namalee's house is looking amazing, guys. I've just driven past it. Um, when I'm off over Christmas, um, I want to go over to the workshop and spend a few days there. And uh, it's just with one radiator, it's way too cold. That's what we're going to do. We're going to go to the DIY shop, the hammer, and buy a heater for the workshop. That's the plan. Okay, guys. Who's up for it? Are you with me? <laughs> See you later. Okay, I'm back. Very hot. Oh my gosh, the masks are awful. You know, anybody who's got to wear one of them all day, every day, is just, oh, my heart goes out to them. Uh, I've got a heater, uh, slightly more expensive than I wanted to pay, but um, I wanted one of those that also it heats, but it blows air. And they, the own in my price price range, they only had the ones like an electric fire. I thought no, that'll take too long to heat the room up because they don't spend like all day or hours upon hours there. So I want something that, you know, in twenty minutes it's already sort of blasted the room. Um, okay, I can show you quickly. I bought a couple of things. I bought an extension tray uh, for the uh, electricity. So that's Lawrence's gift. I oh, remember I bought a chocolate bar as well. It's in my bag, I have to dig that out. Uh, bought this really nice tin fly, quite like that. That was uh, reduced to 4 99 That's why I grabbed it, because I don't need it. And also, Lawrence is gonna freak when he sees it, because he already complains we've got way too many cushions. <laughs> and it is a big one, but um, I really, really like it. And um, I have got a Christmas cushion, and where has it gone? Nobody knows. It's disappeared. So uh, I need one at least, don't I? Uh, weirdest thing, the DIY shop also had no gold Christmas balls. This is so weird. Um, that's why, because the, the um, DIY shop is sort of closer to the centre of the village than it is to my house. And I thought, you know, I might just pop to the village. And when I got there and I saw there was, there was like red, blue, silver, every colour, no gold. And I thought, you know what? If I go to the village, it's going to be exactly the same problem. There seems to be a shortage of Christmas bubbles in gold. How weird. I do have some left. I've not got the little hooky things to go on them. So I'm going to sit this afternoon and just um, make little cotton loops. And um, yeah. Jobs are good and as I say, okay, kettle's bored, I'm going to have a nice cup of coffee and a sit down now because that was quite a morning that I didn't expect, but anyway, good, I think I've done quite a few steps, not that I'm timing myself. Okay, well, I've hung a few more baubles on the tree, so I feel happier now. <laughs> I still can't get over that gold bauble shortage, it's the weirdest thing. Um, song of the day, I remembered, uh, Darlene Love. Another um, Motown classic, I think. Hope you enjoy it. Uh, Daxter's uh, here with me. He's been helping me. <laughs> oh, he's going to bite me. <laughs> oh, he's been helping me. He's all giddy. He's been playing with the baubles. What are you doing, grumpy cat? So, anyway, I'm going to um, say goodbye, wrap up the vlogmas here, and I will see you tomorrow. And I'll insert some footage of today's fight with the rituals calendar. Have a good day. Bye.